Okay, there is no question what is more dangerous, right? It's much more dangerous to ride a car than to be on a plane, right? To be a passenger on, on, a, on a regular plane. And still, most people will not have problem to ride a car, and many people have a fear to, to be on a plane. No connection between fear and, and dangerous. Welcome to the Charney Resolution Center. The Charney Resolution Center helps students like us from around the world learn helpful tools about understanding and tolerance. All students face stressors in their daily lives, and so today we're going to learn about how to improve resilience in schools, and we're going to learn from experts in post-trauma therapy. And these experts are Professor Nati Lao and Professor Dani Chamiel. Now, what is resilience? Resilience is the capacity of a person, a group of persons, a system, an organization to withstand challenges and recuperate and even improve under that um, challenge. Hello. Uh, <laughs> we wanted to ask you a few questions. Uh, the first being, what are you going to speak about to us today? Okay, I'm going to speak about resilience and uh, basically about a program about resilience that we are doing in schools. Uh, actually from kindergarten, from age zero. Uh, and all ages of uh, children and even with the elderly. It's a resilience program. How to, how to learn to be more resilient. How do you think that presenting a presentation about resilience is, to a young audience is different than to an older audience? Uh, first of all, I used a lot to talk to uh, school psychologists, counselors, teachers, and it's really refreshing for me to talk with uh, students. And I think that you are at the right age to make the difference. I mean, all your life is in front of you, and it's a really good time. You are mature enough to learn, and you are young enough that you have all your life before of you, so it's a good time to, to improve your resilience. I was wondering, when did you find out about resilience? At what age, and yeah. how did it develop from there? Well, I was just finished my, uh, I was graduating from a clinical psychologist, and I became a psychologist, and there was a big strike in Israel, big psychologist strike, and nobody cared. Mm -hmm. And I ask why people don't care about psychologists who are under strike. And I found out I'm not really very efficient for my community if I'm just working one patient by one patient. And with some other uh, colleagues and friends, we decided to do some work with mass of people and to start with uh, young kids to, to improve, like to do a preventive work that in the future they will not have to go to psychologists. Can you see the difference between you said you're trying to do preventive work. Do you see the difference nowadays versus um, 10 years ago in the schooling system and in what you tried to change? Uh, it, we already did the program for half a million students in Israel. So it's a big difference. And we know that the atmosphere in these schools changed a lot. And we did a lot of studies, a lot of research to find out that their uh, psychopathology is less, uh, less PTSD, uh, less uh, 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 test anxiety, uh, less depression, so we know that the program is working and kids feeling better. And so where do you think you can apply things that you learned in the lecture in your life? I mean, uh, most certainly in uh, stressful situations as mm -hmm. we were trying to cope with them today. Um, for me personally, I find the, the test, like when I was um, supposed to do something uh, on standpoint, Mm -hmm. Very stressful. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try the breathing thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it works, I would be extremely excited about it. Uh, actually, we are now in a process to give our program to the Ministry of Education of Israel. They accept the program as a national program. Mm -hmm. So kids in Israel will learn it like they are learning math and history mm -hmm. and Bible. They will learn resilient. Mm -hmm. oh, so uh, to go everywhere. We hope you enjoyed the show. And learned a little bit about resilience. See, See you, you next week at, at the, the Chani Resolution, Resolution Center. Center. Peace means taking into account the dignity of other people and the fact that there are other people who have certain rights.